Here we are with Dr. Judy at the impending birth of Delilah and Cobalt's baby. So tell me, Dr. Judy, what's the scoop? Delilah's looking good. She could go into labor any day now. How will we know when that happens? Delilah will let us know. Contractions hurt. You heard it here first, folks. Contractions hurt. Full expected soon. This is Stevie Lake signing off for Full Watch. And cut. Wait, don't stop filming. Dr. Judy hasn't finished the exam yet. I know, but I have to say some film for the actual birth. It could happen any minute now. Well, Lisa and I hope it's not today. I'm going out with the girls. And I've got my audition for a school play. <laughs> I shouldn't worry. The croup isn't relaxed, so it probably won't happen for a couple of days yet. But what if it does? Mayors deliver healthy foals all the time. Usually it happens so fast, the vet doesn't even get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd die if we missed it. We could ask Max if we can sleep over. Oh, and mount a full watch. You promise to come while Tina's here, and I'll give you all the apples you can eat. Now, is Tina that lovely red-headed girl whose parents moved a few years ago? Yeah, we were like twins, both brilliant, charming, horse-crazy, and... And humble. Don't forget humble. <laughs> <laughs> who's that? Beats me. I hope she's not planning on riding in that get-up. Sadie! I can't believe it! <laughs> oh, you look exactly the same! Uh, oh, yeah, you too, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Clothes, the hair. <laughs> That's not all. Cool. But doesn't it rub when you wear jeans? Not if you wear hip huggers. Tina? Is that you? In the flesh. Oh, you look so good. Thanks. You used to look like, well, Stevie. See, some things never change. Me about the weather, Mr. Worthy. Whenever people talk to me about the weather, I always feel quite certain that they mean something else. And that makes me so nervous. Don't mumble. You've got to speak from your dire. dire. dire what? Here in your stomach. The director of my movie said it helps you speak louder. It was Sky Ransom's movie. You only had one line. Only bad actors count their lines. Besides, it's one line more than you had. Can we just rehearse, please? Charming day has been, Miss Fairfax. Pray don't talk to me about the weather, Mr. Worthing. Better than Wonderful. talking about your acting. You're not going for the part of Gwendolyn. Shouldn't you try for something a bit more realistic? Like, ticket seller? Do you think you'll get the lead? <sighs> Let's see. Gwendolyn is a tall, blonde, beautiful heiress. Who else? Oh, and Lisa. Save some tickets for my parents. They love to see me in the spotlight. OK, Melanie, from the top. Hi. Guess what? Lisa thinks she's got a chance at the role of Gwendolyn. Isn't that hilarious? About the play? I know. We'd better start rehearsing. Actually, I'm gonna pass. I was thinking about hanging out with Tina. Oh. Well, I guess I could do that too. No, I wouldn't want you to miss your audition. Tina and I'll catch up with you later. That's the withers. It's the knobby bit at the base of the neck. Right. The foal is on its back. It has to do a 180 degree swivel when labour begins. Oh, that's a lot of swivelling. Yes, it is. It moved. It's not about to um swivel yet, is it? Not yet. Poor thing. 
Must feel like you've got an elephant in there. Well, full term, a fall is pretty big, but then that's nature. Well, that's easy for you to say. She's the one who has to give birth to it. Hi, Max, Deborah. This is Tina. Oh, yes, I remember you, Tina. I think. You have grown up. Oh, thanks. Now, I've told Carol it's okay with me if you want to stay the night. But you have to check it with your folks, okay? Thanks, Max. Whoa. Did you relax? He likes you. you. Sure? I never realized what a mega babe Max was. Max? He's so old. Hey! My dad brought over the sleeping bags. This is gonna be so cool. You gonna sleep in the loft? Sure. We didn't want to make Delilah nervous by crowding her in her stall. Pretty exciting weekend. Are you kidding? What's more exciting than seeing a foal being born? It's more like a sleepover, really. You'll see, it'll be fun. Whatever. Wow, Stevie, you haven't changed. This room looks like it did a year ago. I'm um, not exactly a neat freak. You can say that again. I think I left this shoe here last year. <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Is it me? <laughs> you can borrow it if you want. Thanks. So what do you want to do? We could go for a hack. You want to see Comanche jump? We're getting really good. Actually, I told Christy to come over. Christy? But we hate her. I don't know. She seems kind of cool now. You don't mind, do you? What about Full Watch? Oh, I want... I mean, I told Carol we'd be there. We can still go. Later. Blue eyes you have, Ernest. They are quite, quite blue. Hello, Stevie. Hey, Stevie. What about indigo for a boy and sapphire for a girl? What? Oh, names to the full. Are you taking a shower? I've forgotten how much horses smell. <sighs> Stevie, are you listening? Oh, what? Yeah, it sounds great. Look, Tina and I have planned, but we'll be at the stables as soon as we can. Are you okay? You sound different. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll talk to you later. Bye. What wonderful eyes you have. What wonderfully blue eyes you have, Ernest. They are quite, quite... And remember the time Patch took off across the field with you on him? Remember, my butt's still sore. My stomach's still sore from laughing. <laughs> and remember the time... Christy! Hi, cool. Clearing. <laughs> I love your shoes. Remember Brad from the football team? The Robo Bay. He totally wants to see you again. He's at the mall. No way. I have to change. What am I going to wear? You better hurry. I don't know how long he's going to be there. Oh, you're leaving now? But I told Carol we'd be at the stables. That's right. Full watch. That's OK. You go ahead. Christy and I can hang out. No, wait. I'm coming. I just have to do something first. This is Cobalt, the father. He'd want to be here for the birth. Hello? Carol, Stevie wants to talk to you. Finally, where is she? Where are you? You said you were going to be here by now. Something's come up. What's more important than the foal? Carol, Tina's only in town for today. I'll help it with full watch later. Besides. Who knows when Delilah will fall? It could be days. You know what Dr. Judy said. Look, it's no big deal, right? Fine, if you don't think it's a big deal, don't bother coming at all. Bye. Let's go. Stevie's gonna miss the whole thing. She doesn't even care. Dr. Judy said Delilah probably won't fall for days. 
Not you too. I'm not copping out. It's just, I've got my audition. So? It's really important to me. And I can't concentrate on my lines here. There's too much going on. I really, really want this part, Carol. I die, Veronica got it. It's only for tonight. I'll do the sleepover tomorrow. I promise. Fine. Great. I knew you'd understand. I understand, all right. They don't care about Delilah or the new fool or me. I think they're interviewing ushers down the hall. I've got as much chance of getting this part as you, Veronica. Or Cindy. Dream on, Lisa. Sorry, John, we're going to be about 15 minutes late. <laughs> oh, thank you. We're looking forward to it. You going out for dinner? Yeah. It's a long drive, but it's our favourite restaurant. Max took me there on our first date. <laughs> That's really romantic. <laughs> hey, where's the rest of the Fall Watch team? Guess they had more exciting things to do than watch a fall being born. Well, they're your best friends. I'll show up. Not tonight. Well, if it helps, Delilah doesn't look like she's going to fall any time soon. We've got to go. Right. You going to be OK? Yeah. You guys have a great time. And if anything happens, you can contact us on Dib's cell phone. Number's on the board, OK? OK. Brad is a dream, even better than I remembered. He's up for this year's football medal. He's so mature. Not like some of the guys in my grade. Yeah, mine too. Oh, we have to decide what we're going to wear tonight. Why don't we go to the stables first? The only reason to go to the stables is to see Red. And Red's had the day off. Is there anything in the fridge? I'm starving. Sure, help yourselves. you all night. The fall is turning. Deborah. Deborah Hale. I'll try, but I'm supposed to do my audition. 
Hello? Carol? Delilah's gonna have a baby. Good, you better go, right now. Don't you wanna come? It is Cobalt's fault. <laughs> nice try. You want me to leave so they have to give you the part. <sighs> I'll see it tomorrow when it's clean. Thanks, Cindy. We're ready for you now, Lisa. I'm sorry, I have to go. Lisa? Veronica? Like oh no, this. it's cracking, I can't smile. <laughs> there, finished. Are you sure you don't want me to put this face pack on you? Totally sure. I think it's time we join Carol. She'll let us know if anything happens. Don't you want to go? <laughs> Look, Stevie, I'm not so into horses as I used to be. I stopped riding when we moved to the city. But you love horses. I used to. It's no big deal. Horses are a phase most kids go through. But there's more to life than mucking out stools. <laughs> You'll see. You grow out of it too. Actually, I think I have to go. Why? What's wrong? There's something I've got to do. Like what? You wouldn't understand. It's too immature for you. A uh, Stevie! <laughs> Delilah's water broke ten minutes ago. So far, so good. Now we're just waiting for the baby. Carol, is it starting? Shh, can you be any louder? Sorry, what's happening? Don't worry about it. I know you have more important things to do. Did I miss anything? How do I? Shh. She's in labor right now. What do we do? Nothing. Don't be like that, Carol. We're here now. Yeah, now. Where were you when she was waxing up? And when her tail had to be wrapped? And when her water broke? I thought we were going to do this together. We are. I was the one who stayed here while you guys just left. Get over it. You're acting like we took off on you or something. You did. That's not true. Dr. Judy said the phone would be <laughs> over. We have to call Dr. Judy. <laughs> Battery's dead. <laughs> But I'm not going to get there for about an hour. I won't be in time to help. What if something goes wrong? Calm down. Mares deliver healthy foals all the time. It'll be so fast, you'll be lucky if you don't miss it. What's she doing now? What is she doing now? She's breathing really hard and looks scared. She's breathing hard and looks scared. <laughs> She'll be fine. Just let her do the work. What can you see? Carol, what can you see? Can you see the foal's feet? Nothing. She can't see anything. Tell her to look carefully. Hold on. I think I can see something. Yes! Stevie, are you there? Carol, the video! the best part. No, 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 I can't. I can't. I've got a weird stomach. Look, you've got to get over this phobia of yours. Oh, and the only way to do it is to face your fears. <laughs> Isn't that something? What do you think? It's cute. 
I don't even stay that size forever. <laughs> like Tina's been out shopping again. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, what is it? A fall. <laughs> I mean, boy or girl. Boy. Here, it's a present for the baby. Lisa, what's its name? Oh, yeah, we haven't decided. Um, see an indigo? I don't know. What do you think? A horse? Yeah, he'd look kind of stupid with a teddy bear, wouldn't he? Thanks. I'll call next time I'm in town. Know where to find me. You're not gonna give up on this horse thing, are you? No way. <laughs> Did you get the part? No. They gave it to Cindy Browning. Her father just happens to be on the board. It sickens me the way people abuse their positions like that. Did Lisa totally suck? She would have, but she left. She wanted to see the foal. What's with everyone? It's just a baby horse. It's not going anywhere. That's what I said. Do you want to hang out after the lesson? Sure. Come on, Stevie. We have to give him a name. Carol should choose. You're the one who stuck it out with Delilah. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to think of a name that has something to do with cobalt, like sapphire or indigo. But what about something to do with Delilah? I was thinking maybe Samson? <laughs> you know, like Samson and Delilah. That's perfect. Welcome to Pine Hollow, Samson. Won't you open up the door and Hello. let me in? 